So let me just talk a little bit about names, dinosaur names, just for a minute here, just for fun. Now, when a dinosaur first, I'll talk about triceratops here in just a minute. When they first found the triceratops, the scientists looked at this thing, and they tried to give the dinosaur a name describing the animal, okay? Triceratops means three-horned face, one, two, three. <coughs> What's that? Now, Tyrannosaurus rex, the, the scientists who found this thing, you know, Professor Owen looked at this thing here. He's got these gigantic teeth and so forth. He figured this was the king of the tyrant reptiles. Tyrant king, Tyrannosaurus rex. Triceratops. Velociraptor means fast predator. A brontosaurus, someone talked about, uh, means thunder lizard. This animal is so big, every time it took a step, it must have shook the earth like thunder. Brachiosaurus means arm lizard. The front arms are longer than the back legs, like a giraffe. It's every bit as big as this thing is huge. This cowboy rode up on one of these huge skulls that had weathered out of the ground. He rode up on this thing, and it looked, took one look at that huge skull, and it scared him to death. He rode back to the ranch foreman as fast as he could, and he managed to blurt out that he found the fossilized remains of a prehistoric monster that had horns like spears and eye holes big enough to put in a 10-gallon hat. That's actually what he said. So they telegraphed back east to Professor Marsh. Marsh sent his best team of collectors, John Bell Hatcher and his boys out west to collect this thing, and Marsh put this animal together, and just like uh, pa what is it, Peyton, the paleontologist, said he named this thing three-horned face because of the three horns right there, okay? 